Today we're going to play Somerset Tour. We're going to go through some of the landmarks that you can see if you travel around Somerset. So the way we're going to do this is in a minute I'm going to give each of you your own ball and this ball you're going to use to dribble around using your feet through each of the gates and they have a different name related to a Somerset landscape. Now we're going to start off by moving around in a circle so that we're following one behind the other through each of the gates and I want you to try really hard to keep that ball at your feet so that it doesn't go running off. Top marks if you can keep it at your feet. So we're going to go to the first cone which is Barrow Mump. Okay, Barrow Mump is at the red set of cones. Can everyone see those? Brilliant. And then we're going to move on to the blue set of cones and at the blue set of cones we've got the Wicker Man. Brilliant. And after that, we're going to move on to Cheddar Gorge and Cheddar Gorge is the yellow cones. Can everyone see the yellow cones? Fantastic. And then we're going to move on to Glastonbury Tour, which is the green cones. And then we're going to finish by going through the West Somerset Railway and we could even make some train sounds maybe. Brilliant. OK, so are you ready? Who understands the route that we're taking? Can anyone tell me the first stop? Fantastic, the first stop is Barrow Mump, well done. And after that, we're gonna move on to, that's it, the Wicker Man. Fantastic, you're definitely getting the idea of this. And how are we going to move around the cones? That's right, we're gonna keep the ball close to our feet and giving it little taps as we move along. Brilliant. And how are we going to move around the course? That's right, we're gonna follow the leader, making sure that we don't get too close. Okay, with this game, you can obviously use different movement patterns. We've suggested dribbling with a ball, but you can have skipping, walking backwards, hopping, jumping, anything you like. It doesn't have to be with a piece of equipment. And I suggest matching the color of the cones to make it really easy. In fact, if you use the colors of the rainbow, it sometimes helps with sequencing for the children to know where they've got to go next. If you're using a ball, the larger the ball, the easier it's going to be. And for the, medium version, for the medium version, you might want to set different speeds. So we're going to start off going slow and you're going to listen to my command. And when I say jog, you're going to go a little bit faster and you can control the speeds that they move around. If you're happy to do it, the hardest version would have you move in and out of the cones in any order that they like. But you would be asking them to make sure that they didn't get too close to anybody. Obviously, this is easier the bigger you space out your cones in the first place.